the problem with a lot of movie monsters, and especially this is so true of aliens, um, is that at some point, the, the creator of the movie or the director or whoever, screenwriter, whoever, wants to start to explain where the creature mm. or where the oh, adversary yeah. comes from. And that usually, that's mostly, most of the time, that's a huge mistake. It's the kiss of death. Yeah, because mm. yeah. with aliens, they've killed that to death. Now they've yeah. done Prometheus and now they've done Alien... What Covenant. Was it? Covenant. Yeah. And both I didn't of those see Covenant. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Again, no. yeah. Arthur. Yeah, yeah just, <laughs> just yeah. explaining and over-exposition yeah. and ex trying to explain and explain and explain it all to death. And you, you, you lose that mystery. And they, I, I think in Alien Resurrection, they hadn't lost the mystery. They just wanted to have this monster, which is so effectively created by H.R. Giger, yeah. and then try to do something new with it in terms of trying to get the audience to react to it a bit differently. Mm. Okay. Because even in Alien 3, it's still the monster. It's still the, the thing that haunts the hallways and the thing that abducts you and rips you apart mm. and so on. And in Alien 4, it's just it, it's more of a creature that's trying to survive in any way mm. possible and procreate and trying to... Mm. And it As ends, we all are. Yeah, and it ends, in, uh, it ends on Earth, yeah. that which... Which they did with, um, which is with cool. the aliens, like. yeah. The, which they did with the aliens comic book, which I've talked to yeah, you know, before, yeah. which is really, really chilling. I don't know if they, if it's easy to get in, in in English, but I have the Finnish version of it. it and I'm, a, I, I don't yeah. know if people know, I'm a comic book guy, <laughs> yeah. like yeah, I always have been. <laughs> yeah, a fantastic collection of old Silver Age Marvels from the '60s and '70s and stuff. You yeah, know, that, that I like. So yeah. I have not read the aliens comic book though. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a three part. At least in Finland, it was released as a three part thing. It's a really really chilling story of the aliens. Yeah. That the company finally being able to bring the aliens to Earth, mm. and and so there was an echo of that. That's such the a movie. bad idea. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it know, is. But that, that was after but, the but first that, few movies. But you that think. was the <laughs> idea in Alien Resurrection. Yeah. That was the reason that yeah. they were going to Earth because they wanted to weaponize this. This, um, but is it really a bad idea when you think yes, about it? Yes, it is. It's a, <laughs> it's a horrible <laughs> idea. But let me get this straight. If you had one of those aliens locked up, because that's always in quotes, because they never stay locked up, you would let that loose on Earth. No, 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 not that loose. That'd be the loose, end of humanity. But that, that, was, that was the thing that I was thinking about when I saw the scene where the aliens escape. Yeah. Like they pick one alien who's sort of like, I'm not going to do this, guys. And the other two are like, yes, you are. And he's like, I'm not, but yes, you are. Okay. And then they sort of like, you know, punch him, punch holes into the alien. Yeah. And the alien starts dripping this acid yeah. onto the floor that starts to melt. Mm. Now, it's sort of weird that the engineers who are in charge of... Uh, who should know all about yeah, the aliens, right? Sort of like, why do they create something like an uh, enclosed space that is so easily punctured? Because they by know the, that this thing has acidic blood. Yeah. Right? And you know that Maybe. every creature in the world will get wounded at some point and yeah. bleed, right? If you're a tiger, you're going to bleed at some yeah. point, right? But the so th uh, the thing is, if you can contain the beast, then what's the problem? Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's weird that uh, they've actually made... the, the, the the concept of the alien blood in itself is really interesting because they apparently don't have any metal which is able to to withstand it. Ah, because in okay. every movie okay. where the alien bleeds, it always corrodes anything that it comes to. Because its contact pH with. is like one. Yeah. Well, why don't they make the floor out of something that's basic, that's like pH fourteen or something? Yeah. yeah. You know, or what, I don't know what subject sub substance that is, but it doesn't have to be made of metal. Yeah. That's, it yeah. can be metal. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Behind it. Yeah. 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 yeah wow. That's true. Now, but so it, would you? You actually think having like bringing a, having one of those things on Earth, like a pet alien. Let's say that you had an alien on Earth, um, and you say, "Oh, it'd be the end for humanity." But wait, okay. If we we could learn theoretically to yeah. exist to coexist with aliens, because there's a lot of other animals on Earth. I mean, uh, aliens. If there was, a, if they lived here, they wouldn't exterminate all life on Earth, right? They're not just totally bloodthirsty. They're just trying to survive. They wouldn't kill all the hippos, right? Unless a hippo was attacking them, in which case they would kill the hippo. They seem well, pretty I, aggressive. Yeah, and I, I, that's that, weird. What are they? No, no, that's I, that, that's the thing. That's that's. First of all, again, we're venturing into explaining territory, yeah, which is yeah, killing the true. alien in itself. Yeah, sorry. That's the only thing that kills the aliens for good. They yeah. explain it away <laughs> from existence. But the thing is that 
the, fir the first times, and actually, in, I think in Alien Covenant as well, they, they end up on this planet where there really isn't much life left. So it's, it's less of, the alien is less, or less an animal yeah. and more like a virus or a bacteria. Okay. That it, yeah. it, it like destroys everything. And when it's destroyed everything, it goes dormant mm. until the next sort of life form comes along and then it invades that. The problem for me was that uh, when you introduce certain elements to a movie, you have to be careful. Like the problem with the Jeunet is that he's really good at doing these quirky, sort of weird, surreal things. And for me, it doesn't really work inside, or at least it doesn't, didn't work inside this movie in the Alien franchise. It's, it's unnecessary, really. It's, yeah, yeah. And, it, and I think it could... I mean, the thing is, like, why do you have to make the alien hybrid so ugly? Yeah. I mean... It would have been I, cool I, if it I, would have I, been I, like a. I think it, I think the reason was a production design problem that they didn't have. They, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems in that because it's also the the CGI. It was made late enough that they were making good CGI. I mean, mm. Titanic came yeah. out oh, yeah, at the yeah, same yeah, time yeah. Uh, around that same time, but 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 they just didn't have the budget for it. But I think that it has been a flaw in the production design that they wanted to make this sort of human baby like mm. yeah alien and they they just they just missed the mark no I, I think that they just missed the mark i think that they they ran out of money or they ran out of or there just wasn't somebody saying this this doesn't quite work mm. or maybe maybe the director thought that, that that it did work i don't know i mean it depends it, on the vision and the idea yeah. that you really have for them yeah but i agree with the problem and i think that this is also to do with fincher's alien is that <coughs> that you, you get tied into this franchise and mm. you have to play by the rules yeah and that's one of the reasons why i really respect the new guy the the, the guys who are making the new james bond movies mm. because with you when you start making a james bond movie they say that you get like a phone book yeah of of the things that James Bond can do and, and can cannot do, do. And, well, and yeah, what he can do and there's a lot of there's so the much the broccoli stuff in there. family yeah. tells you mm, that no. yeah and did they and do any other movies sorry no. <laughs> yeah. and, and navigating within that, that is really really, really difficult, difficult. No. yeah i, I mean, mean uh, and and, and the, the si similar thing if you if you make an indiana jones, jones movie, movie if you make an alien, alien movie if you make a whatever it is if it's an established thing then you can't really Make, make your, your own movie. movie. Mm. You have to. You, you have, have to navigate, navigate within, within those perimeters. perimeters. And I don't think that Pinch or, or Genet are, are necessarily the no. best people no. to put in that position. And it would have been interesting to see Genet's version if he had been given free reign to do what he yeah, really but, but, wanted. But he. But he. It, it yeah. is. The thing is that, that there's a special. I watched the special version mm -hmm. because I have the collected. Collected. Special? Do you mean like retarded? <laughs> kind of. Because in, in this in this instance, yes. Because it's a, a it's a it's a it's a collection of the first four Alien movies, okay. which have the original cuts and the director's cuts. Okay. And with the Alien Resurrection one, it has um, it has the original version, and I think it's dubbed something like the. The ninety, uh, the two thousand and four version, or something like that. Yeah, and it begins with Chenet telling the audience that this, uh, that that people were wanting, they wanted director's cut for this, but this isn't really a director's cut because the director's cut was was the one that came to the theaters. Okay. Cool. And and the special version had some of the scenes. There were a, a bit more scenes where you have more interaction with the characters. It has a, a, a different ending. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but it is clearly worse. Mm. It okay. is a worse okay. movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think I saw that one. The yeah. ending happens in Paris, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't. Want to, I already don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, it's a romantic, romantic comedy. comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and the clone. clone. And, uh, yeah. and Meg Ryan. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugh Grant turned yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Yes, 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 of course. Of course, you're an alien. And I'm. A, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, yes, I'm. And I'm I just think, a I mean, after I might be a stickler for rules, but I mean, I think it's a bad idea to put uh, comical characters that are comical in a wrong way into a movie like this. Because, like, the. The guy who is in charge of the spaceship yeah. has the aliens. 
You mentioned his name. Dan Hedaya, yeah. yeah. And he's, 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 he's a very, very over the top. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then you have these other characters who are also like over the top, like yeah. the scientists who are also sort of slightly obsessive and yeah. weird. What and do we think of Winona Ryder? I, I, I... I liked Winona. Oh, I love yeah. Winona in general. I mean, <laughs> in, the, in the movie. Yeah. I, I think she was okay. I, th- I, I, I hadn't seen Winona Ryder. That was, I, I think, around the time that she got into this. Slum, she, she got, got caught, caught like shoplifting yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. It was yeah. so weird seeing you Winona. Know, in the late eighties, she was like my dream girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. Yeah. 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 Some of those movies were great in the late eighties. Although a, a, a movie, another movie that does not stand the test of time is Heather's. To uh, watch that I, now, I don't you know. I've I, seen this video. Christian Long Slater time, and yeah, Winona Ryder yeah. stuff. I mean, I loved it back then. I thought it's yeah. so. I'm not watching now. I'm like. But not, yeah. Because yeah. no, okay, it's no big deal if somebody happens to be gay now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can if you bring a gun to school, even if it's filled with blanks or something, you are going to get in real, <laughs> real, real trouble. Yeah, so, probably yeah. shot on school. Yeah. Probably, now, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, but yeah, yeah, you're right about that. But if you look at a movie called uh, like Aliens, mm. which yeah. has those kinds of characters, but I mean, I mean, uh, Hudson is way over the top. Yeah, yo. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Found him. Yeah, but he's okay. sort of, he's like this, uh, I can't really, I was thinking about the same thing, yeah. that why does Hudson work as a character, and there's yeah. something, it's like this internal... It's game over, man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why do the people in the cruise, on, on, in this mo- on, in many, in typically any space movie, why are the people in, in crews on spaceships assholes to each other always? Yeah, why, they, why do you never have a crew when everyone's a nice guy and gets yeah. along really well? Why does this guy, you know, you know, messing with the crippled guy? Like, yeah, why, no. why does there have to be that guy? Why can't they be nice guys? Why can't, oh, let yeah. me carry the crippled guy because he needs help. Why, they, they're never yeah, that yeah. guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Just a little target practice. Bruce isn't complaining. God damn it. Jonah, you son of a bitch! Come on, man. You didn't feel a thing. Yeah, Sticking things into yeah, his leg. Space, yeah. I would <laughs> that, that I do not know one that, single that, person that was, who would do that. That was such an asshole move. Sticking a knife into someone's leg. But he's not going to be anyone who would actually do that in yeah. real life. Was he, Why was that? That, well, that Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay. 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 okay, there are people who would do that in love, but I don't actually know them. So for me, that's completely unrealistic. Yeah. Even yeah. though it's a fantasy space thing, I can still think it's realistic. Where's like, your suspension of disbelief? That's a really tough one. I'm like, what a dick. Why is he? <laughs> Why didn't work with this guy? Yeah. <laughs> but if you think about a, a movie, yeah, Hudson, Hudson, of course. But if, if you, you think, think about a movie that has done this sort of a spaceship crew, crew dynamic really well, like let's say Sunshine or yeah. something. Oh like yeah, that. Oh, or maybe yeah. Um, the the, I love the yeah, that's great. The one with Matthew McConaughey, Interstellar. Yeah. I don't think I saw that. So the sort of that yeah, is what that. a yeah. spaceship yeah. should be like, and if there are soldiers in there, at least in the you know, Aliens movie. The second one, there's like the the Marines seem like soldiers in a way. Yeah, and not just assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're so asshole profe- soldiers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that comes with the territory, yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Especially if you're in space and a yeah. marine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know exactly what you're like. Pretty much every other space. And it should be a musical. Really, asshole soldiers. A S I P. A S I S. Yeah. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major Asshole. And his cousin? He's an asshole too, sir. Gunner's mate, first class, Philip Asshole. How many assholes we got on this ship, anyhow? Yo! I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. On that note. All right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was a lot of fun, guys. Yeah. So let's do another one. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm happy to guest you guys anytime that I'm in Finland. <laughs>